<sighs> One degree Fahrenheit outside. Feels like that inside. I have the heater going. I actually have a propane heater. Something new. So, space marijuana. I am anti-marijuana for me. I am pro-choice for everyone. That means I am not anti-marijuana for you. Anybody who is an adult and is competent and chooses to use marijuana, I give them two thumbs up. I think you have the right to do that if you want. And I find it uh, more than a little criminal that that right is being denied a hell of a lot of people. I think it is a human right and a civil right for anybody out there that is an adult that is not incompetent who wants to use marijuana should. Not me. I am anti-marijuana for me. I have to stress that again. So I was on Facebook and some of my Facebook friends are not only pro-choice but they are pro-marijuana which I support for them. One of them wanted to convince me to be pro-marijuana. Uh, so I'm not going to mention this person's name because I don't want to embarrass that person. That person sent a URL posted on my timeline, which, by the way, I deleted. Um, you'll understand why. So I went and followed that URL, and I read the so-called article about space marijuana. I can't even fucking say it without giggling like a real man. <clears throat> I'm going to read the caption. Meteorite fragment contains trace amounts of THC, claims NASA expert. <sighs> I can't even fucking not laugh. <sighs> uh, this person, the person who uh, sent this, posted this URL to me, then said, uh, and it, it, this person was being serious. I can't stop. This proves that God wants us to use marijuana because it's out there in space. And he was serious. I really hope that he's not serious. But this was an argument in favor of legalizing uh, marijuana everywhere on planet Earth and apparently other planets out there. <sighs> Tetrahydrocannabinol is the chief psychoactive chemical in cannabis. Uh, the article states that a Astrophysicist named James Hahn of the University of Hawaii examined a meteorite and found THC in it or on it. I immediately assumed, okay, if that is true, then the person who found it should have washed his hands first. Uh, that's good shit. Hey, a meteorite. Hey, it's still there. I think I'll pick it up. Turns out, the article came from the same website that has insisted 16 girls have been impregnated after swimming in a public pool. It also says, man grows gills after having fish genes added to his DNA. Please, people! Why do I even have to say it? 
There is no astrophysicist named James Hahn at the University of Hawaii. Just to make sure, I went and looked. It doesn't exist. The University of Hawaii does not list any such person. There are no science papers by any astrophysicist in Google Scholar named James Hahn. You can find a person who had once lived in Hawaii named James Hahn in year 1911. Why do I even have to do this? <sighs> For the record, there's no marijuana up there! <sighs> oh, good fucking grief. My brain! It's fucking melting! <sighs>